What's up guys? My name is Patricia and welcome to my channel. How you guys doing? How you living? How you feeling? If this is the first time you're tuning in, what's up? Like I said, my name is Patricia and I upload videos every Sunday and Thursday. So if you enjoyed this video, then I definitely want to see you guys back. So what I decided to do today is I actually decided to do like your questions answer type of video. Okay, I'm very ill prepared for this. I didn't ask you guys on Snapchat. I didn't ask you guys on Twitter or Instagram. But I'm just gonna go back to like my last few videos um, and see what you guys asked me in the comment section and just answer them in this video. How about it? If you guys, by the way, hear any snoring, one of the dogs is in the room. Her name is Sadie and she snores really, really loudly. So hopefully you guys will not hear her. Today I actually feel like a legit YouTuber. You know why? Because I have this top on and then I have legit pajama pants. Let me see if you guys can... My Wonder Woman pajama pants on. First, before I address the questions, I just wanna thank you guys so, so much because you guys were so positive in my last video. If you guys missed my last video, I uploaded a life update of sorts. I let you guys know a few things that are happening in my life and um, yeah, you guys were so positive. Um, you guys were so happy for me. And um, that's awesome because I'm really happy right now. And I'm really excited about the things that are happening in my life. Um, some of you guys DM me on Instagram and started following me there. Sorry, that's my sister texting me right now. Um, and you guys have been so well, it's just, just so sweet. And I, and I see you and I hear you. And I genuinely thank you for um, wishing me well so another thing I want to say is there something else I want to say no so if you guys haven't um, checked out that video then definitely check that video out so let's get on to the questions oh before <laughs> before that so a lot of you guys mentioned that you guys live in the DMV area which if you watch my last video which I think you should um, you guys will know that that's where I'm relocating so a lot of you guys actually said you live there so it is for sure official I will be doing a, a meetup later on this year in the DMV area so all you guys who said y'all was gonna be there okay we have miss aka Kristen you said you there who else um, Shanti Pelham said you there Donna Lee said she there um, Gael Pierre said she there. Um, a few, a few others of you. Uh, Lady Lynn twenty seven said she there. Okay, so I definitely want to see you guys all at um, my meetup. Amaka Okunji said that she is there too. I want to see all y'all. Sweet Lily Pad. A lot of you guys um, are in the DMV area, so I cannot wait to meet you guys. Um, like I said, I've done two meetups in the DMV area before. We may go bowling again this year. I don't know. I kind of want to do like a like a happy hour type of thing um, on like the weekend, weekend afternoon, Sunday afternoon. We'll see how it goes. I want you guys to all come out um, and so we can meet each other, hug each other, kiss, talk, um, have a good time. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and answer some of these questions. So... <sighs> Style Me um, asks, she says, can you do a video on being okay with doing a big move? Oh, and she lives in the DMV area. Cool, so I'll see you there later on this year then. All right, so being okay with a big move. I know some of us are more receptive to change than others, but I think one of the key things, the key things, and I wanna do a video just on confidence. One of the key things that helped to build my confidence was changing my surroundings and constantly reinventing myself. And when I say reinventing myself, it's not really becoming a new person completely, but really seeking to actively change and improve, when I say change, I mean improve the person that I am on this side, in the inside. And you know what does that? You know what tends to really do that well? Is by changing your environment. And your environment is can be multiple things. Environment by changing the people that you associate with, changing um, a career, changing location. There's nothing like plucking yourself out of your comfort zone and dropping you somewhere else that really shows you who you are and what you're capable of. A lot of the times I look back on the places I've been, things that I've done. Like guys, can you imagine over the last few years, and I don't say this in, like, in a boastful type of way, 
but literally I have moved every one to two years. I lived in LA, I live in Alabama, I live in St. Louis, I lived at DMV area already. So technically I'm moving back. I've been living in New York City and all these different places. Um, and in each city, I learned something new about myself. And I was able to sort of be in an environment where no one knew me, where no one knew my name, where I had to sort of build myself and build my reputation and sort of um, give myself sort of a new slate, right? Of which I can build upon. And I think it was an amazing thing. And I think it's one of the key things that helped to build my confidence. So there goes, so if, if there are those of you guys who are struggling with confidence, I think that's one of the um, things that I think you should learn to embrace is really um, changing your surroundings, changing your environment and reinventing yourself as often as possible. And when I say reinventing, I really mean improving um, upon on yourself, your characteristics inside out, inside out. The difference between um, how I used to be and how I am is even though I'm scared, I still do it. That's the difference between the old me and new me. Old me says, I'm too scared, sorry for the snoring guys, and I won't do it, I can't do it, I shouldn't do it, but the new me says, I don't have all that I need, I don't feel 100% prepared, I don't know the people that I should know, um, I won't know you know, people once I get there, but I'm going to do it anyways. And you'd be surprised how strong you are. You'd be surprised how resilient you are. Golden Ma asks, are you going back for NP? So here's the, here's the scoop on that. Because let me tell you something. I get this question a whole, whole lot. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, um, I do have a bachelor's um, of science in nursing. And I do have a master's of science in nursing with a nurse education concentration, right? So that's where the whole nursing instructor comes in, working as a professor, da da da. da. So that's where I guess my specialty is is um, in education. But if you guys follow my channel closely, you guys will know at a point I was in NP school, right? Y'all remember that? I was in NP school at a point. I was doing an adult health um, nurse practitioner track you know, primary care type of situation. And so I had gotten through, and this is the thing, like this is, this is, this is everything. I'm about to tell y'all everything, okay? So I, I had went through all of my didactic courses. Like literally all I had was to do like the clinical portion of my program. I had to do something like eight, 800 hours. Um, so I literally was almost done. That's all I had to do, which would equal to about a year. And then I'd be completely finished. So what had happened was, is at the same time that I was about to start my um, clinicals for my nurse practitioner program, I was offered a job in nursing leadership. And so basically the nursing leadership job was going to be a Monday through Friday, nine to five type of situation. And so if you guys know anything about primary care, my clinicals would have to be somewhere between eight to four, nine to five in a primary care setting. That's your doctor's offices, clinics, outpatient clinics, um, doc in a box as I call them, like the CVS um, nurse practitioners or PAs or physicians that you see um, in Walgreens or CVS or whatever. Um, those are the type of primary care settings and that happens during the day. There's no way I could do 1800 hours of clinical and work nine to five as you know a nursing leader. And so I basically had to choose one or the other, finish my NP program and or, and I'm going to go through this in my career update a little bit too. So you guys will hear it again there, but I'm just going to tell you guys everything now since Golden Ma asked. <laughs> Thanks for your question. Um, I had to basically choose between the two that I could not do both. I couldn't be in two places at once. And so I literally had to literally pray about which um, sort of, which one I was going to go for, essentially, and take this wonderful career and resume booster and literally um, change the course of my career. Or I don't know why I'm looking so bright, guys. Uh-uh. Okay. That's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um... Yeah, take this up was gonna like really elevate my career, elevate my resume, um, or go to school, which would eventually also change the track of my career. And so I had to really think about my whys, right? My whys. And so I had to reevaluate why did I do um, the nurse 
practitioner track. And really, I chose this program because it was the most broad. And I would I would recommend anyone that wants to go for a master's to go for um do an ed go to MP school because I do feel like it's the most broad degree. Um broad broad master's degree in nursing. You can teach, you can do research. Um, you can obviously do clinical practice. Um, I feel like it's the broadest degree that, that you can get. Um, if you decide to do the acute care setting, that's even more broad. You can work as an NP in the hospital. Um, in the primary care setting, you can have your own practice depending on what state you live in. So I thought it was a very good decision because I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do in terms of my career. I said, let me just get this broad degree and then I'll be good. And, um... So basically, I realized that that wasn't a good enough reason to choose that over this um, experience that I could get through this nurse um, leadership position. So I do not regret my decision whatsoever. I decided to change my major. And that's where the whole nurse educator concentration came from. Because when I really looked at all the things that I could be doing in terms of um, career, and I had informatics leadership, um, education, and also all of the NP tracks to choose from. And I decided to go with education because the two places I could see myself in was nursing leadership and nursing education. This job would give me the experience that I needed as an, a leader. So I decided not to do that track because now I had the experience. And we all know sometimes in, in healthcare, experiences can sometimes be just as equal to education depending, I say that very loosely though, and so I said, I'm going to have the education. I'm going to have the experience in leadership. I'm going to go ahead and take the education track because that's the other place I see myself in. And um, I think that will make me more mar marketable if I decide to do education later. And so I'm going to talk about my career in, and just so you guys can see where my head is at. I'm very, very purposeful when it comes to my nursing career in general. And I think a lot of the things that I can, that I sort of, that I've decided to do, I think will benefit you guys. Just seeing my thought process okay so that's what's going on um no I'm not in NP school no I'm not going back to NP school but like I said I am furthering my education we will talk about that in the career update later on so thank you Golden Ma for your question that is the deal on the NP situation I get that question a lot actually Nay Charles asked me Patricia suck up fat what's up that's what's up in Creole um not literally but generally speaking, or what's happening, I guess, is more literal. It says, love your videos, and did you stop doing vlogs? Please bring the vlogs back. I miss watching your vlogs. I miss doing them. I miss doing the vlogs. I really do. Um, to be honest, for a long period of time, I enjoy doing the vlogs more than I actually... Um, than any other content that I was uploading. Uh, but you know what? I, my my life got a little bit crazy, and um, so that's why the vlog stopped. And then also, I sort of reevaluated how I'm uploading content to YouTube, whether two channels is really necessary for me right now, whether I want to bring all of my vlogs here and do them less often, like I see a lot of other creators doing, or should I really maintain the vlog channel um, alone, like by itself? And so I really haven't come to a conclusion yet, and I think that's why I haven't vlogged. I just don't know if you guys here would be interested in seeing a vlog from time to time. If you guys would be, let me know. And it won't be weekly like I used to do on my other channel, but it would be, um, I don't know, maybe like every other week or maybe once a month, I would just do a vlog kind of like date in the life type of situation. Um, let me know, guys, because if you guys want to know, then this whole moving process that I'm about to go through, I will definitely vlog through the process and share with you guys like two or three vlogs between now and September so you guys can see what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, how, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, you guys let me know if you'd like to see a vlog here every once in a while. And then I was going to take my other channel, my vlog channel. It would still be a vlog channel, but it would sort of change... A little bit I definitely have plans for the vlog channel so if you're subscribing over there don't unsubscribe so I have plans for it but I don't know if the way I have been doing it um vlogging that is I want to continue doing it over there so you guys let me know what you guys would like to see in terms of the vlogs this one was on a singles club video what are your thoughts on making the first move in today's society women seem to be doing more what are your thoughts on this 
this is a really um, good question and I think um, I think it's kind of controversial because not controversial I just feel like a lot of people have their different opinions on it and my opinions are very strong um, and I'd love to hear you you guys is on this topic and if you guys want me to do a separate video on it um, I will I foresee it not being a popular sort of opinion um, but it is what it is and I wholeheartedly believe and I have shared briefly on some of my videos that it is 100% the man's um, job um, to pursue me 100% the man's job to pursue me and um, that's the way I go about it. That's just the way. And I feel like um, for many reasons, because I think it shows me um, a lot about you, a lot about your character. Um, and it also lets me know how serious you, in fact, are about me. And so I, I, I watch you. I watch your trends. I watch how you treat me. I watch when you contact me, how you contact me, what you're saying when you contact me. Um, I look at our conversations. I look at how intentional you are about uh, where, when we go out, you know, you know, how often we go out and, and everything. All that says a lot about you. And um, I, I really take that pursuing time to get to know that person in that way. Is this a man that um, I could see myself with? And the man that I want to see myself with is one that is persistent, one that is intentional, the one that stands comfortably in his role as a man, um, and someone who knows what they want. Because I, I ain't playing games no more. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm still in my 20s, but still, I ain't got no time. I always tell people that, who, I hear people who are in their 40s and 50s say that they didn't have no time. Like, maybe when I was in my 20s, no, I'm in my 20s and I still ain't got the time for it. I don't. And so I know sort of what I'm looking for, and I think... Um, that's why I sort of look at um, dating in that way. So in my opinion, it is 100%. Now there's things that you can do in moderation and with the right person. You show me, right? And I meet you a little way, just a little, just a little, enough to keep you coming back. And I'm not talking about in physically, I'm talking about um in interaction engaging out don't i i'm it's not like you we're sitting on a date and i'm just quiet and whatever that's not what it is i'm talking to you i'm engaging with things like that but i'm 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 waiting to hear from you so yes that is my opinion i'd love to hear yours um down below it's definitely one of my like sort of set things um you know some people have things that they don't know how they feel about it like oh this is or maybe this it depends on the situation da 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 for me, 100% of the time, for me personally, not for you, but for me, 100% of the time, for me, it is the man's job to pursue me. So I know there was only a few questions, guys, but I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Um, if you guys here, I'm going to do a Q&A, right? If you guys have any questions for me, this is the time to ask. So ask in the comment section, what are the things that you want to know about me or just in general, what do you want to know my thoughts on? Leave them down in the comment section of this video and I will address it in the next q and I, I think this has been like my first Q&A. Pretty spontaneous. I'm glad I got to answer some of, oh my gosh, my coffee has been, been getting cold this whole time. Yeah, so this has technically been my first Q&A. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed answering you guys' questions. But yeah, let me know what you guys want to know down in the comment section below. And I will be back and um, we'll do another Q&A. Did you enjoy this video? Let me know. Give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys are well and in good spirits whenever it is that this video meets you. And I'll see you guys soon. This will go live Sunday. <laughs> so that means I'll see you guys Thursday with another video. And as always, God bless.